Hello everybody, my name is John McCall and welcome to another Division 2 video. In today's video, I want to show you a build that you can use to one-shot the weak points on Razorback in the Dark Hours raid. Let's get started. As always, we start with the specialization. Uh, for this build, you need to play either the survivalist or the demolitionist specialization. The only reason are the specialization weapons, but more about that later in the video. Let's move on with the weapons. To make this whole method work, you need to use the exotic rifle Ravenous that you can only get out of the Iron Horse raid. The reason why is one part of the talent Gary and Frecky. The part that I'm talking about is that the defensive primers grant 10% amplified damage to armor plates for 5 seconds if they explode. The weak points on Razorback count as armor plates. So that means if you stack up to 10 stacks you are able to deal 200% amplified damage against the weak points. You will see how that works during the gameplay footage. As your secondary, I recommend to use an AR. I use the FAMAS with fast hands to get an insanely fast reload. But you can use any AR that you want, like a M4 police version, Carabine 7, a P416 or a FAL, depends on your personal taste. The sidearm is the second piece that is necessary for this build to work. You need to use a pistol with high base damage. Best to use is a D50 with damage to target out of cover. The talent on it is not that important, but I would recommend to use one that boosts up your damage as well. I use Optimist on it. We continue with the gear. On the mask I use a Douglas Harding piece. The reason why is the 20% pistol damage that I get from the brand set for my D50. The attributes are weapon damage, critical hit damage, critical hit chance and the critical hit damage mod. On the chest is another piece that it's necessary. You have to use the named Providence defense chest piece to sacrifice. With weapon damage, critical hit damage, critical hit chance and a critical hit damage mod. The talent is perfect glass cannon. And that's the reason why you need this chest, because of the 30% amplified damage that you gain with the talent. I know that a lot of players don't like perfect glass cannon because of the 60% amplified damage you take, but it's necessary to make this build work. The holster is the next piece that you definitely need. It's the exotic Dodge City Gunslinger holster with weapon damage, weapon handling and headshot damage. The talent is the important part. While your pistol holstered gain a stacking buff every 0.3 seconds up to 100. When you swap to it, your first shot consumes the buff and deals plus 10% damage per stack. This deals headshot damage anywhere you hit. And that means with full stacks you gain an insanely 1000% damage with your D50. On the backpack I use the named Providence Defense Backpack The Gift, but you could also use a normal Providence Defense Backpack with weapon damage, critical hit damage, critical hit chance and the critical hit damage mod and the talent Vigilance. The only difference between the perfect and the normal one is one second. The gloves are the third Providence defense piece, again with weapon damage, critical hit damage and critical hit chance. Because I use three pieces of Providence defense, I gain 15% headshot damage, 10% crit hit chance and 15% critical hit damage out of the brand set. The last piece are the knee pads, I use the named Fox's Prayer. That gives me 10% rifle damage, the attributes are weapon damage, 8% damage to target out of cover and critical hit damage. As skills I use the heal cam launcher and the revive hive. Let's go to the shooting range now and test it out. 
the first thing you need to do is set the difficulty on invulnerable and the distance on 5 meters. If not already full, let the holster gain the stacks. As soon the holster is at 100 stacks, you can start the sequence with 5 left, 1 right, 5 left, 1 right. If you hit 6 or 7 on the left shoulder, it doesn't matter, but you have to shoot at least 5 out of the left shoulder. Now you see the ravenous buff underneath your grenade ammo. As soon as you're done with the sequence, switch to your pistol and get your shot. You should hit about 20 million on the shooting range. If you get there, you should be able to one-shot the weak point. Now let's take a look how that all looks and work in a raid. You will play on an inside position. As soon all the generators are at 100%, this hatch will open. Now you need your specialization weapon. If you play on the survivalist specialization, you need to destroy the grid inside it. That means you need to take the first shot. If you are on the demolitionist, you need to wait till the other player uses his crossbow and then fire a grenade in there with your grenade launcher. In this gameplay footage, I play the demolitionist, that means I use the grenade launcher. While the Razorback opens up, you can start to build your stacks at the side of the Razorback. Same sequence, 5 left, 1 right, 5 left, 1 right. After you build up your stacks, the Razorback weak point should be out. Switch to your pistol and get your shot. Boom, there you go, 216 million. Same thing again, but now full speed. You going back first? Yeah. Yeah. That was my build to one shot the weak points at Razorback in the Dark Hours raid. If you have other ideas or versions for this build, or if you have questions about this build or method, use the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and most important, hit the notification bell to stay tuned and don't miss any new video that I'm putting up online or any live stream that I'm doing. Till the next time.